Hey there everybody, it's me, Ira, and I'm back with another new indie game. This one is brand new. Uh, this is called Duaros, or Dueros. I'm gonna go with Duaros. Um, this game is coming out today, the day that I'm releasing this video. It's Friday, February 28th, 2020. Um, this is sort of a first look. It is sort of a review. It is not a blind first look. I have been playing it for a little while, and uh, I think that's for the best, because the tutorial is really quite long. And there's a lot of stuff in the game that you don't find out until you've been playing for a little while. So, what I'm gonna do, first I will hit New Game, just to show you uh, when you start up the game. You can name your uh, town, you can name the type of settlement it is, so you can change that to whatever you want. You can name your three characters, and each of them has a little biography. They're always the same, as far as I can tell, um, but they're surprisingly... Uh, Surprisingly in-depth little stories for each of them, which I think is nice. I'm not going to go into a new town because I'd have to go through the whole tutorial. What I'm going to do is show you the town I've already been working on, and I'll see how much of the stuff in this game I can show you, because there's a lot. There's a lot going on in this game. It's a lot of fun. By the way, I am playing with a gamepad. It does have controller support. Uh, unfortunately, the menus are not optimized for a gamepad, as you saw. I'm using the joystick to move the cursor around the screen. However, the rest of the gameplay works pretty well with a gamepad. Right stick to look around, left stick to move, uh, right trigger to use your tool, and uh, other stuff will come up in prompts. So, this game is a lot of things. One of the things it is is sort of a, a town building management game. I just realized there's some things here I can get stuff out of. Um, you control three characters, this guy, this one, and the other one. <laughs> and you can move back and forth between them with the uh, left and right bumpers on the gamepad. And so, oh goodness, how am I, get, how am I gonna keep organized in all of this? Um, this, this? This friend right here is your sort of resources gatherer. Uh, he's got this pick and this axe, and you can go out into the world and gather materials. Then uh, this one is your builder and can uh, use the, the building table here and unlock blueprints and build things in the town, which is slowly growing. This is the town so far, New Aeldale. These are the people who are living here already. I have not done a whole lot in the building department because there's a lot of other stuff to do in this game too. Uh, but you can see we've got farm fields where they're growing food. We've got houses, we've got outhouses. We've got a little bathhouse here, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of just doing the basics here. Now, I am on a quest to expand the size of the village. Right now, we can only go up to that fence there, although it does go all the way around the keep, as you can see, or if not all the way around, it goes around three sides, I think. Um, I'm on a quest to expand it. To do that, I need to find 20 sprites and bring them to a, a guy. There's, oh gosh, you guys, there's so much going on in the game. I don't know how I'm going to tell you all this in a little, a little review video. Um, this guy is the, the, uh, treasure hunter, explorer, and, um, they've got a tool in the hand there. Let's go outside of the town. Let's see if I can find a treasure. So this tool is the treasure finding wand. So if I hold, uh, the right trigger, as long as it's red, it means I'm heading towards a treasure. So we just keep following that. Now if I turn the other way, it changes blue, see? So I'm going the right way, going the right way. It's very much like a hot, cold Marco Polo type of situation. Uh, I wish I didn't have to hold down the trigger. It's a little bit rough on the wrist, but most of this game is pretty wrist-friendly, so I think it's okay. This way, this way. Uh, we're going out, and out in the world here, you see there's rocks around, there's trees. Uh, the white trees can be cut down for wood, the rocks can be mined for resources, which are used to build the buildings in the town. This is pretty far. Oh, oh! Okay, we're flashing, that means we're getting close. Yes! Found it. So it'll show me a little treasure chest. And... Open that up. What do we got inside? Usually there's some resources. Jackpot! Okay, we got a ton of resources. And we got a scroll of transportation. Let's me teleport somewhere. So I'll take that. Oh, several, several scrolls of transportation. And <laughs> I can't even pick this stuff up because our, our things are full. Well then, let's go to our builder. And let's build some more buildings. And use up some of those resources. I'll show you this little part of the... Can I? Yes. Smash that. So we go to the table here, we press Y. Now, you can just build the buildings that are here. I think I might... I might uh, build another workbench, actually. There's only one. Got workbench, I'll probably build another merchant stall as well. Get us some more money. 
We've got farming. Uh, I can't build this yet because it requires more wood and stone than I'm capable of holding, so I have to upgrade something else first before I can do that. Same with this big house, which I unlocked. I don't have- I can't have enough resources. I can only have 500 of each one for now. That's in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You can see my resources. Um, there's the bathhouse, education, blah, 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 and there's the toilets. But you can also design new buildings uh, by combining other ones. Now, I think I've already unlocked everything I can currently unlock. But I, I combined these two and that created the farm, which is how I unlocked this, as an example. Let's build, let's build another house. Let's build a house. Uh, so now we've got this top-down view of our, our village here. Build another house. Let's build, let's build one down here. Rotate is the bumpers. There we go. We'll stick that there. Uh, and maybe another farm to go with it. Still, yeah, I can't build that one yet, but I can build one of these. Put that there. Um, and I wanted to build another market stall, right? Do I have enough resources? I don't have enough wood. So let's jump to our- oh! We just got a little bit more there. <laughs> jump to our resource gatherer. Oh! Um, while this guy was out gathering res resources, he found a couple of artifacts. Which I need to bring to this guy. Oh, there's a spirit up there. Okay. Oh, there's too much to do! There's too much to do. Let's- let's talk to Professor Mooney and see if we unlock anything interesting. Can we talk artifacts? So you, you see what I mean, uh, the menus are not op optimized for a gamepad, you have to move the cursor around. It's not ideal, but it's not horrible either. Uh, I love talking about artifacts. So I found- oh, okay, I have to- I have to come up with a collection. So I've got just this. I got one other, I got this one. It says restore. Can I- or what's the- what's the info? Fairly standard cooking pot, not unlike the pots used throughout the Commonwealth today. It's difficult to determine the origin of the pot, but it was likely used by a wood elf. We're, we're living in the wood elves' territory, by the way. Oh my gosh, there's so much- there's so much to tell you guys! There's so much in this game. I'm having a great time with it, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that. I'm having a great time. Can I restore it? Do not have enough soul quartz. It needs three, we have two. I don't even know what soul quartz is. And I don't know where, where to get it. How about this one? Simple hand drum constructed of stained wood and painted tanned hide. Wood elf musical tradition. Cool. Um, oops, I wanted to hit the restore button. I really hope that they optimize these menus for the gamepad eventually. It needs four. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I think this is the soul quartz. Okay. I guess I have to be on the lookout for soul quartz. I'm not sure where to find that, but right now I need wood. Let's switch to my axe here. Use the D-pad left and right buttons to uh, switch tools. So we'll come out, find some white trees. Now these are tiny baby white trees. They will they will come back, they will regrow. So I'm gonna let these ones grow a bit more so I get more out of them, and I'll cut down some of these bigger ones. Just grab these, just hold down the... Am I hitting it? There we go. Hitting the, hold down the right trigger until it falls down. There we go, and I get some wood. Come over and whoop. Take down this one as well. And we can go build that market stall. So right now I'm just showing you the sort of domestic part of the game. Yeah, now I can build it. Let's throw this over here. I also wanted to build another workshop. Where was that? Oh, that was a workshop that I just built. Now I want to build the merchant stall. Okay. That was a- yeah, that was a, a workshop that I built, so I need a little bit more wood. A little bit more wood. Okay. Jump back to this friend. Another white tree over here. So I'll show you a little bit of this sort of city building management, and then I'll show you some of the other stuff that's in this game, because there's a lot of it. Cut down. This is a big tree. The bigger it is, the uh, more swings it takes. Ooh, jackpot! I get bonus wood from that. Sweet! Now I can build the market. Market stall. Drop that right there, why not? I'm not really worrying too much about... Uh, uh, the design of the town. I'm just kind of throwing stuff down wherever. But uh, one thing that the villagers keep complaining about is that there's nothing fun to do. There's nothing interesting going on. I don't have any entertainment unlocked. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to find... Uh, Ways to create entertainment for the people. So we can open up the overview screen with the back button on the gamepad. Uh, my current goal is to get up to tier 2, which means increasing culture, which I don't have a way to do yet, because again, I don't have any entertainment buildings or any cultural buildings. Uh, we've got taxes, based on the number of people living there and how productive they are. Uh, we've got the amount of food we have, the amount of resources we have. 
Uh, I can use the bumper keys. These are all of my quests. So the, the map is pretty big and it's not just our town. So I've got quests from a whole bunch of different places. We need to get crab apples for a fish. Uh, I need to find 20 sprites and return to Surveyor Runip to expand our town. Uh, we need to get a town rating of 2. No quest for here, already got it. And there's a tunnel I need to go explore. North of New Aledale. Discover what's contained within the cave. That might be something we could do right away. Um, there was one more thing I wanted to do first. Oh, that's right. I found uh, there was a sprite inside the town. Up on the wall. I want to show you getting the sprites. This is something that I just unlocked as kind of a, a task that I need to do is get 20 of these so that we can expand our town. I think I have... I think if I go in here... There's more, of course. So this is all the town structures, all of the all the details. If you want to micromanage, you get to micromanage. Everybody's upset because there's nothing fun to do. They're just working all the time. But I can't make them anything fun anymore. Okay, so sprites... Oh, it's not telling me how many I have. Shucks. Just says that I have sprites. Oh no, it does say how many. It says eight. It's kind of hard to see the eight against the uh, background there. So I have eight sprites. I need twelve more. And there's their tools and their stats. And uh, apparently we can have pets. I haven't got that far yet. But apparently we can have pets. Let me see if I can get up on that wall. I can find the way up. And collect the sprite. The way up will be inside somewhere. Um, yeah, there's a way up right over here. There's that beautiful blue sprite up there. There's also some pots that I can smash for some extra resources. Smashy smash. Everyone loves smashing pots, right? That's the only reason anyone makes pots, so that they can be smashed. You can smash these with any tool, I'm pretty sure. They don't give you a lot of stuff. Ooh, they're affected by physics, apparently. There we go. And can I get that from here? I can. Sweet. Okay, and here's a little sprite. You just walk into it. It tickles you, and then it goes inside Yeah, <laughs> And now I have... Nine. So there we go. That's that. Okay. So I've showed you that. I've showed you that. <laughs> I've showed you the town building a little bit. I've showed you smashing pots. Uh, we recruit- we just built some new houses. We recruit, uh, new people to live in the town by going to campers and asking them if they want to live here, as long as we have the space. So we have, as, as you can see in the top right, we have 12 people out of 16 max. So I just need to find some tents, which I see some over here. And we'll run over here, and we will ask these people if... Oh, there's some even closer. Well, I may have already recruited these ones. We'll see. We just have to find some people, ask if they want to live with us. And as long as we have space, they will move in. And we should have enough food and all that. Uh, we got, yeah, we got a couple people right here. Hello! Greetings. My name is... I don't remember my name. Would you like to live in our town? Oh, thank you for the invitation. We leave for New Aledale immediately. Hooray! So they will... Whoop! Now this campsite is gone. Uh, and they will be in the town now. Working and doing jobs and things. Um, cool. So, next thing to show you all. Oh, there's a sprite up there. I don't know if we'll be able to get up there. Can I get up there? So sometimes I find some where I cannot figure out how I'm supposed to get to them. Sometimes it's real obvious. Sometimes there's an obvious route up uh, one of these rocks. And sometimes I'm not sure. I might have to get up on a different rock. Can we? Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to get there from here. Oh, almost. I wonder if the explorer will be able to. He has a dash uh, skill that he can use. Okay, uh, there are also ruins all over the place, which contain puzzles. Ooh, got some stuff on the ground here. Free resources, I'll take those, thank you very much. Um, let's see, oh, there's also a map. If I press up on the D-pad, I can show you the map. The map is a little bit finicky. So as you can see, we're just in this area here. This is... This is the only area that I've explored so far, and a little bit down here. Where you see these little people, these are teleportation areas. So, um, that's useful to have. You don't have to necessarily walk all the way back. You can go to these teleportation stones and go uh, between them. But there's all the rest of this area that, as far as I know, is already in the game that I have not explored yet. Um, pretty cool. You can see where all your people are. You can zoom in and out with the right stick, but it's uh, a little bit wonky. 
a little bit clumsy sometimes. And you can also kind of click and drag with the A button, but when you do that, it places a waypoint somewhere kind of randomly. I think it's a little bit buggy, so I try to avoid doing that. Um, I do need to find out where the crab apples are. I'm not sure if I have access. I think it might be up here somewhere. Um, but we're supposed to go and check out a cave. Clever wall solved. Yeah, so these are the, the different um, puzzles that can be solved. I have not solved most of them. I only solved a couple. Usually they require uh, several of your little teammates to come and help you. Let's see. I was kind of coming this way because I know there's a few that I haven't solved yet. Although I wanted to go to one. Oh, I see a, I see a spirit over there. I'm going to run over and grab that. <laughs> I want to get these spirits. I don't know why I'm so eager to uh, to do it so quickly. Considering, you know, uh, we don't need extra space yet. But it's just a thing that I can do. It's on my to-do list, so I'm going to try it. Can I come up here? No, I'm not going to be able to make that jump. I'm going to have to jump this way. Yes, and up here. Got it. Got it. We're up to 10. We up to 10? I'm up to 10! 10 sprites. Awesome. Sweet. Um, okay. So, I think I solved this one. Up, 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 up. And there's little animals everywhere, by the way. There's no fighting in this game. It's a peaceful, family-friendly, very wholesome game. The animals just run away if you get close to them. Um, I didn't solve this one. I couldn't figure out uh, how to solve this one. So that's, that's not done yet. I'm not gonna try to do that on camera, because I'll just embarrass myself. I think we all know I'll just embarrass myself. So there were... Where's the... There's another one. Is that this one? Oh, there was one over here. Through this gate. That I think I just need, um... My, my buddies to come and help me out with. You usually need more than one party member. Because, like, one has to hold down a switch. Ooh, ooh, spirit, spirit. <laughs> this is my new thing. I'm so excited to find these little spirits. This way. Thank you. Come with me. Awesome. Uh, usually these puzzles will have, yeah, they'll usually have a little fountain on the side, which I can use to summon my party members to me. So, whoops, wrong button. This button. Fountain responds to your approach. Transport companions here. And then, ta-da! Here they are. So we can all work together. Isn't that spectacular? Okay. So, um, I hope that I this is uh, yeah, I hope that I am able to solve this one on camera. I'll be very embarrassed if I can't. I think one of these guys has to. Why? Yes. Okay. This will bring me. I have to say, my least favorite thing about this game is the platforming. Uh huh. There's there's uh, there's a surprising amount of platforming, and the controls are not precise at all. They are not precise at all, and it is ugh, really hard to tell how far you're gonna go, and it's really hard to to get where you need to go. Um, yeah, I don't know if I am gonna be able to solve this one quickly, actually. I, uh, uh, maybe this guy come over here. Where is that coming from? It seems like they kind of move around a little bit. So tax time, sweet. So that moved a little dwarf friend over there. Aha! Uh -huh. No. Okay. No, it really does just move that one back and forth. Oh, look at that. That opens the... Hmm. Need to turn this way so I can get a look at what's happening. <laughs> it would help. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, there's gotta be... A way somewhere that I can jump from here. Maybe I'm not gonna be able to do this one right now. I don't want to do anything too complicated, but I guess this kind of gives you the idea of 
how how the puzzles work. So if I yeah, if I jump all the way across, I can't make that jump. So I'm not sure how I am expected to do so. Is there another way to get up onto those little platforms, maybe? Look at this. There's a whole other kind of climbing thing there. Alright, I'm gonna leave that for now. Let's take the adventurer. And uh, let's head to that cave. There was a cave that we need to go and check out. Grab some free wood, why not? I don't see any reason, why not? Maybe see if there's any treasure along the way. This way. There's always treasure around, my friends. Real close. Yes! Grab whatever's in there. Oh, but yeah, usually once you get to the end of these little puzzles, you, you find a treasure chest that usually has some resources and uh, a few items like this. Bags of spice, teleportation scrolls, little things like that. So, yeah, this this one has a, a run. You can see him sprinting here. Now, I tend to prefer not to use uh, controls that require me to hold down shoulder buttons because of the wrist troubles that I have. I have chronic uh, repetitive strain injury in my wrist. So, um, yeah, I probably won't be running too much. This is another village over here, by the way. I think I started to explain the, the backstory here is that this is the Wood Elves sort of home, country. Um... And they are allowing us to build a boring. I know it's boring. I don't know what to do about it right now. There are no entertainment buildings available to me. I do wish the game would give you a little bit of more of a hint about uh, how to how to make your how to build your town effectively, because it shows you how to make buildings, and then that's kind of the end of the tutorial. It doesn't really explain how to balance things out, or how to keep the villagers happy. You kind of have to figure it out through trial and error, I think. Alright, uh, where is this cave that I'm supposed to be going to? North of the village. I mean, this is, this is north. I don't see a cave. Is the thing. Please turn that off. Developers, if you happen to watch this, there's a bug with the uh, gamepad controls. Where you automatically sort of set a waypoint. There's a little shack over here. Let's see if there's anything interesting inside. Obviously, there's a sprite on the top, but usually I find, yes, find useful stuff in here. Soul quartz! Awesome used to restore ancient artifacts. I think I have enough to restore one of those artifacts now. I don't know how to get up there. Don't see a way up. There's a lot of sort of puzzles of varying types in this in this game that I have not figured out how to solve. Oh, can I get up on top of the wall? No, I can definitely not get up on top of the wall. I don't know if there's like a way to fly or something that'll eventually unlock. I'm honestly not sure. Let's take a look at this quest again. Dusk and Veil. Ancient Tunnel. Enter the newly cleared entrance north of Aledale. But it's not showing on the map where this is. It just says north. Does it mean this? This gate, maybe? I mean, I can, I can head towards that gate. I had intended to do so anyway. Go see what's over there. I suppose. Ooh, the music's getting a little bit choppy. I don't know if it's just because I'm recording. It's probably just because I'm recording. Maybe if I follow this path, it will take me where I need to go. What do we got on the sign here? Left the blacksmith. No, I've been to the blacksmith. Blacksmith is expensive. <laughs> Cannot afford anything that the blacksmith has to offer, I'm afraid. There's that big pyramid that I haven't figured out how to get in yet. I don't think I have access to it yet. I'm just gonna pick up all of this stuff. I guess I see no reason why not. Thank you very much. What we got here? Oh, here we go! Oh! Oh! This must be it. 
Trial entrance. Okay, I have not been here yet, folks. Let's discover this together. Can't break that. Open. Enter the trials with your companions. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, so again, there's no combat in this game. So this is not going to be fighting. This will definitely be puzzles. What do we got here? Beautiful rainbow lights. A little bit bright. Hurt my eyes a little bit. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, disco wizard. To get to the other side. Huh? What just happened? Was I asleep? Where is everyone? I can't see anything. Oh, the lights are out. I'll just turn them back on. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate that. No big deal. Sweet sun circles. What happened here? This place is a disaster. Everything is... Because custodial services are going to get an earful from me. <laughs> The trials are in such a state of disrepair, I'll have to file a formal complaint. Oh, hello. Who, what, are you? It's me. The main characters. All three of them. I've never seen anything like you before. <laughs> Says the disco wizard. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe I have. Do you have any cousins who are very hairy and like to sleep in caves? Oh, but how rude of me. I am the Watcher. No, you're the disco wizard, friend. What? No, I'm calling you disco wizard. <laughs> Maybe D-dubs for short. That's what the children like to call me. I'm not a child. Here, let me open that door for you. Welcome to the trials. Uh, thanks. I'm, I don't know what these are, but... It seems like I can pick them up, so I'm going to. Stand up here? No? Don't need to? Alright. Please excuse the mess. The trials are usually kept in much better condition. I'm surprised they allowed someone to take the trials in these conditions. Well... <laughs> Hmm, I must have been in a dormant state for some time for it to have gotten this bad. A really, really long time. Yeah, I would say so, friend. I don't know if I'm expected to be able to read that, but I like the script. It's very cool looking. Looks like we got a map here. Alright, now presumably I'm gonna need my companions to come with me. I don't know what these are for. Oh, I've got a little thing where I can summon my companions right here. Spectacular. Hey, dude! Over on that wall is a friendship fountain. These fountains can reunite you with your companions. Yeah, I know. We figured some stuff out without you, D-dubs. Fountain responds to your approach. Transport companions here. Hey, pals. Let us step on the buton. Now, I probably have to stay on that, right? Oh, no, I don't this time. Okay. Sometimes, uh, you do. Treasure. I'll take that. Thank you very much. We got a key. I do think that the changing uh, numbers next to items that you pick up, same with the sprites, and clearly same with the keys, um, I think the text is a little bit too slow. I think it should just show the new number instead of showing this very slow animation from the old number to the new number. Just a little bit of feedback for the devs in case they're listening. So you just uncovered a key fragment. Key fragment? Spread around the trials, you'll find more fragments like this one. Once you have all the fragments, you'll be able to open the final door of the trial. Okay. Dope. I think I'm ready for this trial. I think I'm gonna crush it. Anything under here? No, but I can go under here. So cool looking. Alright, somebody get over here and help me out. We got two buttons. Two butons. Kaboom! Let's just keep it all together. Let's keep everyone together. Sup, D-dubs? <laughs> I hope you like your new nickname, because I am not changing it. Here we are. Say, did you hear anything about them moving my optical crystals around? I used to have a really good view of the Astral Order building, but now all I see is a forest! <laughs> Bad news, friend. <laughs> forest is all you're gonna see. Whoa, check out these statues. Very cool. Oh, okay, so I've got one part lit up. And I'm, s I'm assuming, again, that I have to have it held down. Yeah, I have to have it held down. Okay. Let's bring someone else in. I'm noticing that the, uh, oops, wrong way. I'm noticing that the dwarf character moves more slowly. Oh. Oh. I guess we have to... Wait, is there one of those fountains in here? Can I summon my companions so that they don't have to hold the door open for each other? This is so cool, though. This whole world, like, there's just so much depth, there's so much to do. Uh, there's so much story to the world, and I love it. Okay. 
get that turned on. Pick up these for whatever they're for. I do not see a little fountain thing. Maybe there's one up at the top of this elevator thing, my digger. Oh, problem. Problem. Uh, it stays up. I need someone to open it for me. Is this, uh, another way in, maybe? We can, ah, we can come in this way! Ha ha! I solved your puzzle, old man. Thought you were gonna trap me and my buddies out here, but you were wrong. <laughs> Alright. Dwarfy's gonna stand here. And you're gonna... Up it goes. Wait. It didn't, it didn't go up. There we go. Okay. Up here. Press the button. Ooh, that's the other light. That's the other light. Let's go press this one as well. Kaboom! We did it! Moving to the next area. Um, alright folks, I'm looking at the time actually, and it seems like we have been playing this game for, uh, for a while and we're pretty much out of time. I'm gonna keep playing because this is super fun and I really like this game. I love that it's a, a family-friendly, non-violent, non-scary, wholesome game, um, where I can just chill out. I can play it with the gamepad so I don't have to make my wrist all sore like I do with certain other games that I play. And there's a lot to do. I can, I can work on building in the town. I can work on exploring, I can work on trying to solve the puzzles. I believe there's a wiki, so I think if you get stuck on the puzzles, the answers are probably out there. Um, this would be fun to play with kids. If you if you got kids, I think this is definitely a, like a truly family-friendly game. The controls are simple, I think kids would be fine with it. I like the visual style, I love just all the details in the world. I'm just a big fan of it. There's, there's some things that could use some improvement. The gamepad controls could use some tweaking, some optimizing, especially for the menus. Um, but for the most part, I'm having a blast, and I this is definitely going to become one of those games that I just throw on when I have a few minutes, or when I'm just I just need to chill, I just need to like relax, and I don't want to think too hard or worry about stress. Um, and yeah, strong recommendation for me, Dwaros. You guys, this should be out if not. When this video is released, then within a few hours after the video is released, it should be out. I will put a link in the description, as I always do. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And remember, my friends, uh, if this this game is not your cup of tea, if this is not what you're in, into, if this is not what you want to play, do not worry. Because I will absolutely be back soon with another indie game. And that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Mining for rocks, mining for gold, cutting down trees, relocate in the locals, I'm a colonizer. Mm.